three situations in which technology just is not the right answer. In education, it's a situation where the underlying system of learning or the schools are in some way dysfunctional or not able to achieve their educational goals. Technology doesn't fix broken school systems, and so no amount of technology is going to turn around a situation where children aren't learning. Another situation where technology doesn't automatically do the trick is with cost reduction. You know, we often think that digital technologies save costs because they're somehow more efficient. Uh, but that's only true if the underlying human forces are already aligned towards a lowering cost. For example, in the U.S. healthcare system, where there are so many different players, all of whom are contributing to increasing costs, it's not clear that the addition of more technology is really going to help us lower those costs. The third situation where technology doesn't necessarily solve problems is where there is some deep existing conflict. A great example is in the United States where, you know, currently we seem to be more polarized politically than we've ever been before. No amount of additional communication tools or social media or online ways of getting together is really going to address that issue until we really sit down with each other on a person-to-person -person basis and realize that we have a common mission instead of one in which we're almost fighting as if supporting different sports teams.